Hey guys, Xbox here, check it out. This is, again, just something a little different than what you're used to here. I got a scraper truck made by Super Truck. Now, I've seen these a lot, and these things vary in price. Anything from, geez, $1,000 all the way down to 35 bucks. And this particular model ranged on about 350 all the way down to about 40 bucks, and I couldn't understand why. So, went ahead and ordered one because I really wanted to convert one of my Tonka trucks into a dump truck and I, they look actually pretty cool so I went ahead and got this particular model let's go ahead and open it up or let's let's actually look on the box here a little bit to see what it is you can see the car looks pretty sweet in there you guys can see on the bottom here what it says let's go ahead and open this thing up all right there you go guys went ahead and took it out you can see it basically this thing comes ready to run it comes with the controller as well as the antenna the nine volt for the controller a charger as well as a small I think it's only a 600 yep here it is, actually a 400 milliamp, 4.8 volt uh, little uh, NICAD battery, which, you know, I'll probably upgrade that thing. But you can see the detail on this thing, and it is pretty sweet. One of the things I was hoping for was true rubber wheels, and these are actually hard, it's like a hard plastic, or almost like a hard rubber. Actually, it's, you know, it's really, really hard. So I'm going to see if I can swap those things out, maybe with some realistic, um, you know, realistic... Uh, tires from another RC. I don't know if there's other ones like that. Looking at it, it, it looks like I can probably put some on there, but I want to give you guys a quick overview. Just look at this thing. Very, very sweet here. Very detailed. All right, here, guys, here's the other view. You guys can check it out. Again, you know, it's it's very detailed. Looks very, very nice. But again, I really wish they would have had real metal wheels on here, maybe a little bit longer life battery. I'm going to go ahead and show you the remote here. You can check it out. Basically, you got forward and reverse, you know. Pretty straightforward. You have the right and left. So I'll show you this here. The right and left basically just moves the front of it at a different angle. And then of course you have the two buttons down here. One is up and one is down. So you can see it goes like this. Again, and this is done with a servo. And one of the things you'll notice is there's not an automatic stop. So if you listen, if you keep going, it's gonna make that cracking sound, which I do not like. And then you got down. So down does the same thing. You can just keep holding the button when it stops and makes that loud popping sound. And that is about it on the movement for this thing. So, you know, if one of you guys are looking to get this particular model, at least you guys expect what to get. I didn't see anything out there regarding this particular model. I see a lot of people running these, but I just don't know which ones they have. So it does have the running lights. Looks like that might have... That uh, looks okay. But again, hopefully this will give you guys a good detailed idea of what to get here or what it's gonna look like if you get the super truck, scraper truck, and sort of what some of the features are. So again, you can take a quick look. I'll flip this thing over so you guys can see it on the bottom. You guys can see that down here. Battery goes right there in the back. So there you go, guys. Hopefully if any of you guys are getting one of these, and uh, definitely subscribe. I'm probably going to make one of my own, a dump truck out of a Tonka truck. Thanks again, guys, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already.